Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be taking a lecture on introduction to Blazor. So what is Blazor? Blazor is a framework for building native interactive client-side web UI with the .NET and the characteristic of Blazor framework are as follows. Uh, it is a, to create rich interactive UIs using C Sharp instead of JavaScript. So that is the main feature, you know, you've been used to those who come from the web development background must have used JavaScript on and off for creating UIs, but instead we'll be using C Sharp, which is supposed to be a service, server side language. Okay. And it shares server side and client side app logic written in .NET. So it renders the UI as HTML and CSS for wide browser support, including mobile browsers this Blazor platform I'm talking about and using .NET for client side web development uh, offers the following advantages to so write code in C sharp, which I already told instead of the JavaScript and leverage the existing .NET ecosystem of libraries. Now share app logic across server and client. And that's a big advantage and stay productive with Visual Studio on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. OS. So which is the crust of the the crux of the thing with ASP.NET Core or .NET Core that it is open source and it is cross-platform and built on a common set of language frameworks and tools that are feature rich and easy to use. Now we'll talk about the Blazor components. Now Blazor apps are based on components. So a component in Blazor is an UI element such as a page dialog or data entry form. So components are .NET classes uh, as opposed to those who are used to working with ReactJS. Uh, the components serve similar purpose, but here in C Sharp, the components are in Blazor, the components are .NET classes built into .NET assemblies that define a flexible UI rendering logic, handle user events, can be nested and reused, and can be shared and distributed as reserve class libraries or NuGet packages even. So the component class is usually written as a razor markup page with a dot razor file extension. All right. So components in Blazor are referred as razor components and razor. Those who have followed my tutorial on ASP.NET Core, those Microsoft documents uh, that I have um, um, reshaped into YouTube. Um, videos which many of you have subscribed and liked, you might be knowing that Razor is a syntax for combining HTML markup with C Sharp designed for developer productivity. So you can write pretty much C Sharp code from your view, CS HTML files, those who are aware of um, this model. So Razor allows up to allows us to switch between HTML and C sharp within the same file with IntelliSense support. Now, though Razor pages and MVC also use Razor, Blazor components are used for client side UI logic, whereas the MVC are built around a request response model. All right. So both use Razor for different purposes. ASP.NET, um, MVC application or core MVC application and Blazor application. So there is a code snippet. The following Razor markup demonstrates a component. That's a, what I just told. That's a dialog.razor dialog component, which can be nested with another component. So we can see that in this code snippet, there is it's a bit of a um, HTML like code, you know, within a div, we have got a h1 tag, which holds a title at the red title. So this at child content at title or at code, it actually is a razor uh, syntax. It is actually a server side code. Now here you can see that this part at the red code. So with the parameter attribute, so it with the parameter attribute, you have got two properties, you know, public properties, title and child content. So these um, properties, you know, these public properties are put nicely 
within the div tag, you know, at the rate title and child contains. So it actually, in essence, it gets the title and the child content. And child content is what? So child content is on click event of a button, uh, yes button, yes uh, exclamation mark, or it calls, it triggers on yes function. So what is this on yes function? Uh, it actually writes to the console, simple one, write to the console in C sharp. Yes button was selected. So So here is a piece of code that I am going to show, which actually gives you a HTML index component that uses the dialog component. Okay, so this is that index component. It within a H, H1 header tag, it writes hello world, welcome to your new app, and it then includes this dialog component with the title Blazor. And it says, do you want to learn more about Blazor? Okay, so we'll see what happens in the next page as it renders to the. So hello world, welcome to your new app, Blazor. Do you want to learn more about Blazor? Yes, if you click the button yes, then it will come up with that. The yes button was clicked, whatever the message was within that. Yes button. So I will try to show it in another video, this um, implementation of um, this dialogue within the index action. So for now, thank you.